Good morning, kings and queens. Hope you're having a beautiful, blessed, amazing day. Hopefully what you did was you sat back and you said, you know what? It's a new week. The devil will not win. I'm going to go out there and win every single day because I know what God is creating inside me. As you know, when we first start these videos off, you got to get a Bible verse. Shouts out to my baby girl, Madison Elizabeth Jacko. Today, my verse comes from her. It's Romans 8, 18. What we suffer now is nothing compared to the glory he will reveal. Mm. Mm. Let's read it one more time. Romans 8, 18. What we suffer now is nothing compared to the glory he will receive. As I sit back and I think about this Bible verse, I sit back and I think about how far God has brought me to. God has brought me a far way. He brought me a long way. Like, y'all don't know, um, it's 10 years removed from the streets. It's 10 years at my church. It's eight years being a personal trainer, at nine years being a motivational speaker. And where I'm at right now in my life, I would have never thought it was there. But I had to go through all the trials and tribulations of life. I had to go to the people that was not seeing my greatness. I had to go to people not liking who I am. I had to go to people telling me, you're too much on fire for God, you need to calm it down. I had to go to people that wasn't watching the motivational video. I had to go to people that was telling me I'd never be anything. But God showed me that I'm better than what they say. And somebody watching this right now, they have talked about you. They have tried to curse you out. They have cursed you out. They have sent you negative text messages. They have told you everything that you're creating, being the content creator, is not the greatest thing in the world. They have told you everything negative to break your spirits. But I need you to understand this. It's not about who's telling you what you cannot do. It's about you going out there and barking and being your breast. It's about you going out there and doing everything you need to do. It's about you sitting up here and saying, you know what? I can't be beat. They might as well join me. They might as well stop hating on me because right now it ain't going to stop. I'm going to be one of the best kings and queens I could be. It's about you telling yourself that no matter what they speak of your negativity, you will be great. That's what it's about. If you stand tall every single day and keep on being the goat of your life and keep on loving who you are, Everything can change. Everything will grow. Everything will be what it needs to be. But it's time for you to stand up, be great, and never stop being what God wants you to be. It's time for you to say, you know what? They might not like me, but I love myself. They might not tell me I'm doing a good job, but I know I'm doing a good job. Be the testimony that you want to be in your life. Grow with God and just go out there and be your very best. Switch it up. If you don't know me, <laughs> I love putting my phone on Do Not Disturb. I put it on Do Not Disturb because I be in the gym, I be doing stuff, I be with the kids. And sometimes when I'm doing stuff, when it's not on Do Not Disturb, text messages that come through, emails come through, all this stuff come through my phone. And sometimes I be using my phone to create videos or I'm doing something in my life. So I put it on Do Not Disturb. Do Not Disturb been on my phone for so long I forget to take it out, do not disturb. And I just keep my phone, do not disturb for days on end. Keep it there all the time. So people, sometimes people get irritated. I got to keep on calling your phone, this, that, and other. But they have favorites that on iPhone, you go to your favorites, they're able to get through your phone, but everybody else can't. The message is this right here. How many times are you going to gonna keep on moving and not putting your life on do not disturb? Putting on do not disturb so the negative people can stop reaching out to you. So the negative posts can stop reaching out to you. So the negative stuff on social media can stop reaching out to you. Hey, that do not disturb is very strong. <laughs> I live a do not disturb life because you're not about to bring me down to your level. You're not about to be negative to me. And when it comes to social media, it's some stuff I just do not want to see. I don't want to see it. So since I don't want to see it, what I do is I remove it from my life. When are you going to remove toxic things from your life that's not causing you to be greater, that's not causing you to do anything great in your life, it's causing to bring you down? You have to remove negative things from your life. You have to speak greater over your life. You have to tell yourself right now, 
I'm going to be bigger and better than what I was. But all that negativity, I got to let it go. All that negative talking, I got to let it go. You have to let it go right now so you can be good. So have a do not disturb life. Have a life right now where you sit back and you say, you know what? This person is not meant for my life. They got to go. This family member is always negative. They got to go. You got to remove people from your life. Thank you, bro. You got to remove people from your life so you can be better in life. So in 2024, have a do not disturb life. If you have an Android, I don't know what y'all call it, but on iPhones, do not disturb. You put that little moon on, ain't nothing coming through. And the reason why we're putting it on, because in 2024, we don't have time for haters. In 2024, we don't have time to talk to people. In 2024, we have time to make our dreams come true and not sit with negativity. In 2024, we don't have time for negative posts on social media. If you're negative, I'm not going to follow you. If your live is negative, I'm not going to follow you. Because life be life, I don't need you to add on to my life. So what is that? That was a bar. Mm, yeah, that was a bar. But you have to be doing something different in your life. Put your life on do not disturb and go out there and be great. Switch it up. Make sure the circle that's representing you are doing the right things in their life. What I mean by that is this right here. Anybody that I call out on this social media platform, anybody that has my number, they're the same way on the phone and they're the same way on social media. They're not switching up to be something different because they're trying to please everybody else. They're not doing it because they already know the calling on their life. I know the calling on my life. And I know what I have to do is I have to move forward. So make sure your circle is representing you the right way. Make sure that they're doing the right thing. I'll never forget, I was in my church one day, and one of my friends, her name Campbell, <clears throat> they had these women sitting behind us, and I came in there with my kids. And they were like, good Lord, he got a lot of kids. And they have been knowing who I was. They knew. But guess what my friend did? My friend done this right there. She turned around and spoke to me. She's like, yeah, he has seven kids and he takes care of all of them. They was like, he must, you must be one of the baby mamas. She was like, nah, I've been knowing him for a long time before he even came to this church. And she represented me. I ain't have to be right there. Be around friends that's going to fight your battle even when you're not in the room. Be around friends that's going to always speak of you greatly when you're not there. Be around friends that when you're doing something and it's not right, they're going to call you out on your BS. Be around friends that's going to look at you and tell you, hey, you know what? You doing this right there? That I'm not a hater, but that's just not going to be good for you right there. You got to be around the right people in this season. You got to stop wanting to go tell everything on social media because some stuff is meant just for you only. Everything ain't meant for social media. I had to learn that the hard way. I used to love posting stuff on social media. I used to always post it because I was like, man, somebody got to see it. Somebody got to see it. And so my cousin told me, he was like, everything ain't made for social media. Some stuff is made to stay in house. Some stuff is made for you to just grow with and change with. That's what it's made for. But you have to be able to sure you get the right team, the right vision, following what God is telling you to do right now. God bless you. God bless you too, bro. I hope everything is going good with you, man. But you have to be able to get on the right track. I need you to grow. I need you to love yourself. I need you to just keep on being patient. Stop trying to make your blessings come quicker. And God is showing you that it's coming, but it's coming at God's timing. A lot of times we try to rush stuff to happen and we go right past what God got for us because we try to rush for it to happen. Sit back and let God change it for you. Sit back and let God grow you. Sit back and let God call you to be what you want to be right now. What do I know, man? I'm just a person that, you know, been sitting up here always making sure I motivate the world, always making sure I'm speaking grace and glory over everybody, making sure that whoever I meet they understand that I got to go this way. I can't look back. God driving me forward. No, I would. Hey, Trevor, Trevor you're going to be great, man. Just keep on praying and just keep on keeping God first. You keep God first. You keep on doing everything. It'll be good. But you have to understand this right now. Thanks, sugar mama. You have to understand this right now. Where you're going, everybody can't come. I need you. To, I'm not talking just to you, Trevor, but I'm talking to whoever's listening to me right now. Where you going, everybody can't come. And since they cannot come, that don't mean they're bad people. It means they're not right for your journey. You know how many people I wanted to try to get to come to me right now, to church and to motivation and everything like that, and God is telling me this right here. 
it's not time for them to come. I'm working on them. But if I don't stop, if you don't stop worrying about them and working on what I told you to work on, it's not going to work. So I need you to say, you know what? I can't bring it with me. I can't. But what I can do, I can put all my trust in God and I can move forward. Check this out. They have people that's around me right now. And the people that's around me, they're waiting for me to fall. And I don't get mad with them. This is like, no, they're waiting for me to fall. I just get stronger. I go in the gym three hours strong. Motivation is what I do. I will sit on social media all day long and I will pray. I will speak grace and glory to people. I will do everything I can do because I know my calling. I know I'm not called to everybody. And you need to understand that. Well, watch this video. You're not called to every single person. Everybody don't want to be like you. You know what? That's the reason I love social media because everybody is somebody else. Everybody's doing their own little thing. And that don't mean they're doing the wrong thing. It's just not meant for me. Sugar mama, you're going to love this, sugar mama. They used to have this stuff that my grandmother always tell me. You got to learn to chew up the beat and spit out the bone. That's chew up the meat and spit out the bone. I never knew what that meant until I got to the age of 30 years old. When I got to the age of 30 years old, I used to go to one of these churches when COVID hit. It was like before COVID, but I used to go into one of these churches. And the pastor used to preach. And I used to listen to him. I'm like, that ain't meant for me. <laughs> nah. We good on this one. So he had some good verse. He had some good sermon, but he had some sermon that made me like, no, nah, I don't think that's the way it go. And then what ended up happening was I found my church home and I heard Pastor Lee and I was like, ooh, yeah. He he didn't gave me a two piece dinner. He didn't gave me dessert. He didn't gave me mashed potatoes. He didn't gave me everything. And that's what it means to chew up the meat and spit out the bone. What that first pastor did, I chewed up something and I spit it out. But this one right here, for 10 years, I've been chewing on this bone. I've been chewing on the gristle, whatever. You know the gristle of the chicken. I've been chewing on the gristle. I've been having a big thing of sweet tea. My pastor is amazing. But that's for me. Your calling might be something else. But that don't mean you stop walking in your calling. You keep on moving in your calling. You keep on being around the right people. Let me make you understand this. I use social media because I want to express favor and blessings over other people. I want to tell people about God. That's why I use social media. I don't use social media for gifts, for stars, for likes, for anything. If I never get another gift, if I never get another star, guess what? I'm not going to cry because God has gave me so much favor that I don't have to worry about social media. I don't have to worry about who likes to post. Sometimes people get stressed out because people are not liking their posts or sharing their posts. Let me tell you something. You don't got to like my posts. You don't got to share them because guess what? The next morning, I'm still going to be here. And the next month, I'm still going to be in the gym. The next month, I'm still going to be talking about God. The next month, I'm still going to be great. The next month, I'm still going to pray. The next month, I'm still going to talk grace and glory over everybody I meet. See how that works? You have to start worrying about who is going to be able to support you in this season and understand that God is supporting you right now. God loves who you are. God is knowing where you're going right now. You're on the right path. And I know right now it's taking time. But nobody told you it was going to be easy. Trevor, nobody told you it was going to be easy. Sugar mama, you already know. You sugar mama. Nobody told you it was going to be easy. Kyle Rashard Jacko, it's not going to be easy. They have times I want to cry. They have times that I don't know if I'm going or coming. They got times I got to ask myself in the mirror, like, am I being a great dad? Am I doing everything right? And every time I ask myself that question, God always tell me this right here. You're doing what I told you to do. If your church's mothers don't like what you're doing, that's on them. You just keep on being in their life. You just keep on sending them Bible verses and being in their life no matter what. Let me show you something. This this not no play play. We we do this every single morning with the kids. Yeah, Bible verses all day long. We ain't playing. Ain't, ain't never playing. Yeah. Kid kids gonna get kids gonna love God no matter what. Kids don't always love God with me. So what I need you to understand is if you're on level one right now, you can get to level seven, eight, nine, ten. But start being at level one and start working your way to the next level. Start loving where you're at, understanding who you are. If you're single right now, queen, your bow ass is coming. You've been dealing with a lot of ASSs, but your bow ass is coming. King, you're looking for your roof. You're looking for your woman of God. She's on the way. But right now, you got to go through it just like I got to go through it. But it's coming, though. 
Take time. If you have no kids, your time is coming. And trust me, when your time comes, you're going to be like, wow, because they're going to get older. You know what I'm saying? But just understand, your time is coming. God loves you. Stay focused on the dream. Stay focused on the love of God. Stay focused every single day to be greater. Remember, your accomplishments come from God, not from man. You already know my favorite Bible verse. In Galatians 1.10, what God is possible, what man is impossible. That right there should be telling you, God got your back. John 8.12 is another one of my favorite ones. And you know, those are the two I'm for me for 2024. John 8.12 says this right here. I will let my light shine over all creation. I will let my light shine over all creation. What does that mean? Once again, you're going to be able to speak to people that everybody won't like. You're going to be able to step in rooms that everybody going to ask, how did they get there? You're about to get to step into places that people are not going to like you. People are not going to love what you're doing. But you're going to be able to step into places. Good morning, Queen. You're going to be able to step into places that people are going to wonder how you got there. And it'll be so good for you to tell those people, I got to the place I'm at right now because I put God first. I put God first. I put God first. I put God first. And I put God first. You're going to be able to say, I put God first for everything. It feels so good not to join the team right now because they have a lot of teams that I can't join for motivation to speak. But God ain't put that on my life. Not no Eric Thomas, not none of this. God is showing me right now that I need you to walk on the journey I gave you. And when you get to where I want you to be at, I want you to give me all the glory. I want you to give me all the honor. And that's what I'm doing. So that's why when you see me on social media, you see me here, but you always see me. Like, even when I'm in the gym, putting other people in the videos, getting everybody else their, their shine on and everything else like that. Because God is telling me, I have you in a winning season. But the winning season you win, you got to be able to bring people that I'm sending you over here. You got to be able to bring people with you. Like, Mama said it. She already knew I already told her. Like, bro, whenever you're ready, you come to Atlanta. I come out there. We're going to get these workout videos in. We're going to run it. We're we going to do this. Trevor already knows it, bro. We're we gonna, we gonna get some stuff going. Anybody that you see on social media with me, trust and believe, is because God sent them. I didn't send them at all. I didn't ask for them. I didn't ask for nobody. But God showed me that I'm gonna send you people. And the people I'm gonna send you, some of those people are not gonna love God the way you love me. I'm going to send you those people, and I need you to keep on pouring, pouring blessings into them. I need you to keep on telling them they're doing it. I need you to show them what it is to stand up and be a child of God. I need you to show them, and I need you to tell them your testimony. Because, see, in this season, we have to tell people our testimony and let them know that God still has our back. In this season, we got to stand up and be able to tell people what's going on right now. Trigger Mom, you already know I'm going with this one. They have some elders, some older people that never told their testimony to the youth. And now the youth don't respect them. They have a lot of them. Not too sugar, mom. You know, you'll tell us anything. But they have some elders, some older people that will not tell us what they've been through. And those are the people. They have some elders, some older people that will not tell us what they've been through. And those are the people. Well, the youth what it is right now. You've got to be able to tell them. That's why with me, I'm telling everybody I used to tell dope. I'm telling everybody it's been 10 years out of the streets. I'm telling everybody it's been 10 years at my church. I'm telling everybody where's that because guess what? Somebody is listening to me and they want to know, how did I make it here? How did Jack come make it to doing what we do? I had one man ask me in church, how you come to church with long hair and gold teeth and your Cartier is on? Because it's church. Oh, I didn't know you come to church like this. Yeah. Because in the Bible, God didn't wear a suit. In the Bible, God didn't have gators on. In the Bible, God came as he was. In the, God, in the Bible, God went to the temple, but he also walked the streets with the prostitutes and the drug dealers and everything else like that. And, and the rapists and everything. God done all this. So if God walked around people that to other people was ungodly, why would I do it? Why would I not walk with the people? 
People tell me all the time, why you go to the hood? Like you go to the hood, you be walking around the hood, this, that, and other, because I walk with the full armor of God on me. I'm not worried about nothing. But those same people in the hood was me. So how can I not walk with them because what they've been through? We ain't going to play that at all. Oh, you're going to get this work. When I say I stand with God, I really, truly stand with God, no matter what. You can like me or you can not like me. You can like me or you can not like me. I know what Jesus did. Yes, I got to approve your comment. But you can like me or you can not like me. I'm going to move with God on my side all the day. I'm going to keep on doing it. It being Cartier's, it being Ray Bans, I'm still going to walk through the hood. I'm not ever going to, I don't care if I get a million and two followers right now. I'm going to still get up on and do the social media the same way. <laughs> I'm going to still do everything I'm doing. It's not going to change anything because if I change who I am, God can remove everything he blessed me with. And you need to learn in your life. If you remove what God had brought you from and you change it up, God will take everything from you. I didn't work too hard to be who I am right now to go back to thinking about followers make me great because they don't. Subscribers make me great because they don't. Only thing that makes me great right now is loving on God, loving my seven kids, always representing people the right way and always loving on people and always praying for people. Because there's a difference between praying for people and praying on people. I am praying for people. Praying means I want you to do great. Praying on you means at the end of the day, I want you to do good, I want you to do bad, and I want you to do amazing. But you already know, this is your first time here. The YouTube video, this video already will be on YouTube in about two, three hours. Go on Kyle Jacko at YouTube. So you go K-Y-L-E space J-A-C-K-O. And you can go on YouTube, you can see it. One thing about me, I only speak when God tells me to speak. I don't believe in just making long content just to be talking, just for people to come in. It's not what it is. God gave me the message. I ran with it. And that's the message. If you want to be able to see this message again, you're just coming in right now. Once again, go on YouTube and type in K-Y-L-E space J-A-C-K-O. But right now, it is time for the prayer. If you don't like praying, you can leave now because that's what we do on this live. So right now, if you're not driving, I would like for you to close your eyes. If you want to keep your eyes open, you can. But just make sure whatever you're doing right now, you give God the honor. So as I pray, you can pray to your way too. But we're about to do it right now. God, as I come to you right now, God, I want to say thank you for another amazing day. God, I don't know who's going to go through negativity today, but God, I need you to take that negative and turn it to positive. God, I need you to make them understand that no matter what they're going through right now in this situation in life, God, they will be rewarded with greatness and glory when they just put you first. God, I know somebody watching this video right now. God, for the whole 2024, they've been in the driver's seat. They ain't hit everything they're supposed to hit with brick walls and everything else like that. God, tell them and show them, God, when they sit on the passenger side, God, their life will change. God, grow them spiritually, grow them mentally. God, just keep on growing them and giving them grace and glory and letting them see no matter what they're going through, God, they're all a child of God. God, I pray over their finances. I pray over their friends. I pray over their family. I pray over anybody that's around them. God, this is their winning season. This is their testimony season. This is the season that they will grow, they will flourish, they will do everything that's in your will and your way. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I truly hope you love the prayer. I truly hope that what you did was you told yourself, this is my winning season. This is my testimony season. My name is Kyle Jacko. And no, I do not have all the answers. Only thing I do know is this right here. I'm going to trust in God when it's good. I'm going to trust in God when it's bad. Can I get that quick prayer? I've been sick lately and get it for Yes, I got you. Let's go to God one more time. Got to do it for you, Trey. We don't probably need it. Guys, I come to you right now. God, I want to pray with Trevor right now. God, I know he's been sick right now. He's been just going through stuff right now, God. Whatever he's going through right now, God, please bless him from the top of his head to the bottom of his feet. God, whatever he needs, if it's soup, if it's just to be resting, whatever he needs, right, whatever he needs right, God, you know exactly what he needs. He know what he needs. God, I pray that, God, whatever he's doing right now, him being sick, God, he'll feel better. He will open his eyes. Today, later on today, as a matter of fact, God, we open his eyes after this prayer, and you will heal him from the inside, outside, 
Like how you would just keep on growing him and showing him God, no matter what he's doing in his life right now, he's going to be great for God right now. Heal him right now of his sickness. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Now, come on, Trevor. You know you don't got to ask me for no for no prayer, Trevor. You know I got you, big. You know I got you, big, bro. No problem. No problem. But, man, hope you're having a good day. Remember, prayer is needed in life. It's not a right or wrong way to pray. You just got to pray. And I love what you just said, Trevor. And I want you to keep on doing it, Trevor. If you ever see me on live and you just need a prayer, you just need anything, Trevor, just let me know. I can put you in there. Right when I do my prayer, I can put you right in there. That's what it's about, kings and queens. It's about praying for your brother or for your sister and uplifting them when they're down. But like I say, y'all, in every video, man, we always going to be a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Oh, my bad. Let's take it back. Look, sugar, my mom messed it up. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, between the hours of 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Cut on the, cut on the bell so you know when I come live, because guess what? When I come live, I ain't here for a long time. I'm here for God's time. And I got one more thing to say. Okay, where? Okay. Say his name. God. Let's go. Y'all have a beautiful, blessed, amazing day. Remember, keep God first. Sit in the passenger seat and let God sit in the driver's seat. Go out there and have a blessed day. Take care. Be blessed.